morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me for day two of Morning Manna. This week, we are reading in Luke 10, the parable of the Good Samaritan. And if you grew up in Sunday school, you probably have heard about this parable a time or two. It's one of the most beloved gospel stories for young and old alike. And while you're most likely very familiar with this parable, I pray that you'll be able to gain something fresh from our study this week. It's important that we meditate and study the scriptures. So this week, I just wanna take small portions of the parable and break them down each day. Yesterday, we read the entire parable together, so pause this if you need to do that. But today, we're gonna focus on verses 25 through 28. So I'll go ahead and flip there and we'll read together. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? So we see that this man who asked Jesus the question is a so-called expert in the law, a lawyer. My thought is that his motivation in asking his question was not pure. He was testing Jesus, knowledge of the law really. The lawyer may call Jesus teacher, but he's really putting himself in the position of grading Jesus' answer. Jesus responds in verse 26, what is written in the law? He replied, how do you read it? I love Jesus' response here. He was a little bit sarcastic. The lawyer should know the answer to this question. He's an expert in the law, of course. The lawyer responds. He answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. When Jesus tells the man, do this and you will live, he's not saying you can get into heaven by being perfect. Jesus is holding up a mirror to the man so he can see his own sin. Jesus knew the man could never fully love God and people perfectly. He's human. He wanted the man to see it too. You've heard the statement, you've got to get him lost before you can get him saved. This is what is going on here. Jesus is trying to make the man see his need for salvation. I'm sure we can think of some people in our lives that are in need of that mirror today so that they can repent of their sins and come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Today, would you pray for those people that the Holy Spirit would break down the walls of pride so they can know that they fully need Jesus in their lives. I love y'all. Thank you for joining me again today, and I hope I'll see you tomorrow.